What is going on sis? It's your girl Chloe Yasmin back in the cut with another video and in today's video your girl is going to be vlogging. I'm super excited because y'all have been really messing with my vlog. Do not mind my little spot treatments. Y'all know me. I will spot treat a pimple real quick and I got two big pimples. They actually shrunk a lot but I got them two days ago and I'm really big on like treating my pimples to get rid of them as fast as I can and that's what I'm doing right now. But anyway I just got back from Sephora. I went ahead and picked up this Olaplex intensive bond building hair treatment. This is like Okay, so I'm gonna be real with y'all. I be bootlegging everything. With all the plicks, they have a number on them. You're supposed to go by the numbers and do the whole routine. Girl, I didn't really do all of that. I just bought the shampoo and conditioner and bought like the hair cream and called it a day. But I guess there's like a whole routine. I knew that, but I just didn't really care. Cause girl, we're not rich over here. I don't have time to be spending hundreds of dollars on one hair routine that's only gonna last me like a month, you know? But slowly I get there, you guys know me. So I went ahead and picked this up. This is like the first thing that you are supposed to do before you start the routine. You're supposed to apply this onto like your dirty, dry hair. You're not supposed to like drench your hair in it, but you're supposed to like get it like damp with it and you're supposed to leave it on for 10 minutes um so yeah i feel like a lot of us always resort to saying i'm sorry like i look crazy like girl why the heck are we apologizing for our looks why the heck are we apologizing for what we look like why would it bother somebody else because i'm so quick to be like girl i'm sorry do not mind this do not mind this get it all out the way no people don't really care like that like when people point it out my bad when people point it out that's when i see it but if you're not gonna point it out i'm not gonna see it but that's not the only thing that i got from sephora i have literally been obsessed with paula's choices products so i have been using retinol and i feel like my retinol is not really that strong so this is the retinol that i usually use it's the cerave resurfacing retinol serum you will get a lot of purging from this if you're a first time user but this retinol is a one percent retinol treatment so it's like much stronger so i already know that i'm most likely going to be purging from this as well but i love retinol it's like a night treatment i'm not going to use this every single night but I'm definitely going to implement it into my night uh, nighttime skincare routine. Now, if you are in the skincare world at all, or if you've like dipped into it just like a little bit, then I'm pretty sure you know about niacinamide. The most popular niacinamide would have to be the Ordinary, but I found this one by Paula's Choice. I did not like the Ordinary one. It was very well priced, but it was very sticky and tacky and I did not like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try out the Paula's Choice niacinamide 20% treatment. I'm gonna go ahead and implement this as well and see what it can do for my skin because we all know that I have been struggling with acne for a very, very long time. Honestly, ever since sixth grade and I'm 18 now, so do the math. I'm gonna go right ahead and hop into this Olaplex treatment and then we're gonna go ahead and head to Walmart. I gotta go ahead and figure out, what, figure out what I'm gonna wear because I have laundry to do. It's not like I don't have clothes. I have so many clean clothes. I just... I just don't feel like going through them and trying to put something together. So I gotta find something to wear for real. Something basic, nothing crazy. Cause I ain't really about all that life. I've been getting dressed up so much. It don't even make sense, which I love it. But I just really don't have any inspiration for an outfit. So I'm like the type of person that likes to stay very organized. Like I have like my little planner. I have like this little notebook. And so every single time that I get like a topic that I'm pretty passionate about and that I want to share, I always like try to write it down because I always forget. And then I'm like, what was I wanting to tell y'all? So nowadays I just be writing it down or putting it in my notes. But for some reason, I don't know about y'all, but I like like to physically write down things instead of typing in things i don't know i'm really i'm really old school so i'm sure a lot of us like want better for ourselves we want our dream career we want things to happen in life and we want to build our platform and become successful one day but i'm sure a lot of us are also not really surrounding ourselves with people that want the same this is where you make a mistake when you're really hungry in life and by hungry i mean like hungry for success hungry to graduate college hungry to, hungry to get your first car hungry to get your mom out the hood whatever your goal is hungry to lose this amount of weight hungry to become a better parent I'm I'm not the type of person that's gonna be like you're not gonna get there if you don't do this but it's gonna be very hard to get to where you want to get if you are still surrounding yourself with people that are not on that same tip with people that do not care about none of that if they're not hungry like you're hungry baby that's only gonna bring you down so one tip in life is if you are if you want to be successful either surround yourself with nobody or surround yourself with people that are very hungry and also care about your success because there are a lot of people out here that are hungry but only care about their success I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying this treatment from root to tip and we're just gonna keep on talking but baby you have to like y'all don't understand like there's gonna be temptation with people from your past trying to come back or people just out of nowhere trying to be your friend but you got to realize what you want in life there's no time for settling and staying still staying stagnant and I was also in the car today I had to go to Sephora and I had to go pick up my nephew and basically this song came on it wasn't really like a song but it was more like um, a sermon over a beat and basically this guy was saying like you know you got to make that effort you got to make that decision every single morning to speak to Jesus I just feel like a lot of us are not prioritizing him when he prioritizes us you got to prioritize who's prioritizing you and half of these people out here is not prioritizing you like that that boy when he go to break your heart or that chick when she go to turn her back on you guess who's gonna be standing 10 toes down not even questioning if he should be jesus christ is down for you we ought to be down for him and i just know that like all of us we all slip up like we get up we don't want to give him our first fruit we go to bed we don't want to give him our last fruit we go to listen to different music and watching different shows and we just become more distant from him and then all of 
sudden we're so far gone, we just feel like there's no way that he loves me. There's no way that he's going to take me back. But that is the devil's tactic. That is his trick. Now, I know I've said this a lot. So if you watch my videos a lot, then you already know. You probably already heard this. But when you're about to let into temptation and you're about to do that sin that you know you should not be doing the enemy is like oh you straight the lord will forgive you he forgave you every other time didn't he so what, what's the difference now like you think he's not gonna forgive you this time and then all of a sudden you do it and it's what they tell you nah he don't love you he's not gonna forgive you it's over you already betrayed him you think he's about to take you back he don't love you it just you're just not worth it we be trying to be loyal to all these extra people out here they ain't really loyal to us but the one person the one god that is down for us we got to be down for as well because his loyalty he's shown his loyalty sometimes we get caught up and we're like oh, okay but life's not really all that good but what was it like a few years ago because are you not in a better place right now and even if you're down right now you're gonna look up in a little bit and be like dang the lord for real brought me out like he really cares for me like and I don't even deserve it. The more you give the Lord your time, the more you start to realize that you don't even deserve his love. I'm gonna speak on something real quick and I don't want nobody to get offended. I re I noticed that like when you become a Christian and you're like a new Christian, I've been Christian my whole entire life but I never was really serious with it. So I consider myself to be a Christian but I wasn't really living by it. So once I for real gave my life to Christ and really started living by it, I got in my Bible, my life began to change, everything began to get better. But listen, I also became very judgmental. And honestly, that happens with like 85% of new Christians. Christians that are new to the game. A lot of them become very... A lot of us, shall I say, it's us. A lot of us become very judgmental as new Christians. And it's very easy to once you first get in that word because you get to know the truth of everything and you really just want to like rebel against how you used to be or rebel against everything that you used to believe in because now you're really being exposed to the truth. But we got to make sure that we're going about it the right way. When we go to preach, we can't be so harsh. If you look back at my old videos, I was a very harsh, judgmental person and I regret it with everything inside of me. But I get to see the growth. I'm, I'm, I'm becoming more loving and more open the deeper that I get into this walk with Christ because you start to realize just how how much we should be spreading Jesus's love and also just how much everybody else is just as, as much as a, as a human as you are because baby I can sit up here and judge you but at the same time I'm one step away from what these people out here are doing that I could be easily judging them for I'm one step away while I'm sitting up here trying to judge people and talk about people every single time I do it the Lord has to show me you're no better you're no greater and he'll put me right in a situation that will teach me dang I really shouldn't have been judging him or her because for real I'm no better for real. The Lord will sit me right on my flat on my butt and be like, sit your butt down. You know, dang well, you ain't supposed to be talking about her like that. You know, dang well, you ain't all that perfect either. That's my child just as much as you as my child too. But Jesus is way more loving. He ain't gonna say it like that now. But y'all get what I'm saying. That's how I say it. That's how I say it. If I had children. I just feel like nowadays this cancel culture is so toxic. Everybody's so worried about canceling other people and exposing other people. Why don't we expose ourselves? Why don't we let everybody know what we struggle with? Why don't we let everybody know the things that we have done? Okay, so my hair is not like drenched in the product, but it definitely is a little damp from it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit in there for 10 minutes. I'm about to get in the shower and then I gotta get to Walmart and get some household products because I am running low. So I'm gonna speak to you in a minute, girl. All right, sis, so your girl's already. I'm about to go ahead and head to Walmart. I'm about to go to Walmart with my nephew or whatever. I was like, you just wanna go to Walmart. He's just laying there anyway. But I actually caught myself about to go ahead and cover up these two pimples on my cheeks because it's like, for me, like I, I have heard everything in the book about myself and so like when people say dirty nasty things to you you start to you start to pick it yourself and so like with little things being said about my acne and everything like I usually call myself trying to like cover it up so that nobody can see it but like my skin has come a very long way and I am not mad about two little pimples and that is how I pass on confidence you know we got to be confident like acne is beautiful acne is very 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 much so normal and it is not ugly just got off my menstrual cycle so it's just like that is a part of being a female. But anyway, this right here is my outfit. I thought it was super cute. It's like a little H&M top with like a white tank top with like a lace trim around it and then like some H&M um, shorts. I really like these shorts because they're not like booty shorts. Y'all know I don't really be wearing no booty shorts or anything like that. So these are really cute. I thought they were like adorable. They're like pretty long. I love how much they cover because usually shorts will ride up and be like all the way up here. And these are like all the way down here. So I really do like that. So yeah, super basic little outfit. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. That is bad but i'm gonna keep it in there <laughs> here are my current nails you already know you already know i'm gonna go ahead and link these in the description down below they are in the size medium ballerina and i always get my nails in an extra small but i'm about to go ahead and put on my little jewelry put on my perfume i can go ahead and show you guys my perfume of the day my room is an absolute mess but girl this is the perfume of the day it's the miss dior rose and roses i love this stuff it smells so good and i am not a rose fan at all i cannot stand rose scents and this is just so classy and beautiful like girl okay so i actually had a list but the first thing that i'm seeing are my glade plugs 
plugins. I love Glade plugins. They will really have your room smelling super good. I actually have two plugins. I don't use just one. So my room always smells super good. I actually have like the vanilla lavender ones right now, but I'm seeing which ones did I see? They have vanilla passion fruit. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the vanilla passion fruit. I'm gonna pick up the sheer vanilla embrace because I love vanilla. I don't know if you guys can already tell, but love that. Here they have aqua waves. I guess I'll go ahead and pick that one up as well. I am kind of overdoing it. They have powder fresh glade. I love powdery scents, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this powder glade spray. Oh, they also have candles. Now I love my Bath and Body Works candles, but like super expensive and I don't always have time to get to there. So I guess I'll go ahead and pick up some of these candles that they have down here. I'm seeing that they have sky and sea salt which smells absolutely amazing. So I'll go ahead and grab the two pack. This is the Game Moonlight Breeze candles. These Game candles always smell super good. They don't last too long, but they definitely smell amazing. These ocean wax melts. So I do a lot for my room. I do candles, wax melts, plugins, all of the above. Cause your girl loves for her room to smell good. And I got my own apartment now. So as soon as I move in, I'm gonna be going household shopping for that as well. Cause I want my stuff to be smelling amazing. I also need some Dawn dish soap. I use it for my toilets, my sinks, my bathtubs. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick uh, oh green papaya scent oh they came out with like a green papaya scent i don't think it smells all that good i think it kind of smells the same as any other ones but i mean this is the platinum one so i guess it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and pick this up okay so i love using these febreze small spaces for my car these will make your car smell super good i gotta say that my favorite is definitely this fresh um unstoppables one it smells so amazing like my car literally be smelling fire so i'm gonna go ahead and grab two of those and then they have None of these are really sticking out to me, to be completely honest. So I guess I'll just go ahead and pick up the Linen and Sky, because these smell really good as well. So I love the Linen and Sky, and then I also love the Fresh Febreze Unstoppables. Those smell super good. You know what? I'm going to leave this for my car. I'm going to leave this for my car. I like to have like an air freshener for my car as well, just in case. So I'm going to leave that in my car. I usually get like the Target spray bottles, because they're very similar to the Windex. One second. I like this glass cleaner, the spray Sprayway glass cleaner, but lately I have been preferring the regular glass cleaner. So I'm going to get the Windex, because I like their bottles. But if you cannot afford Windex, go to Target and get the Up and Up brand. They have like a better bottle, honestly. I use Pine Saw in my laundry. I use it to clean. I just love Pine Saw. It just seriously is, is like the best odor eliminator and also like one of the best cleaners. I love it. I know a lot of people do not like, do not like the smell of it, but I'm a very big fan of Pine Saw. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And then I also needed laundry stuff. What is this? Ooh, Sentiva Disinfecting Multi-Surface Cleaner. Okay, girl, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. That's nice. Do I have Lysol or no? Which one is this? This is the coconut water and sea minerals. Ooh, I definitely have to have that. I would definitely prefer coconut over mango hibiscus. Okay, so I'm now looking for the laundry stuff. Let me see. Okay, I'm gonna go to the detergent first since that's the first step of wash. They have a lavender gain. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up one of these lavender gain detergents since I do still have like a full bottle of detergent at the house the cheapest fabric softener that i've noticed that makes my clothes smell the best is definitely the snuggle blue sparkle i have always loved the snuggle it's honestly my favorite they seem like they changed the packaging a little bit for a blue sparkle but it's just a classic my dad used snuggle growing up Ooh, here and there he did because we didn't always have the money but when he did buy snuggle our clothes always smell amazing so back in the day we literally had no choice but to use the one ply tissue paper super thin and there's nothing wrong with it i've been using it but my mom went and bought a bunch of thin toilet paper because people are just going through it so fast I can't use that junk, so I gotta get my own toilet paper. So I need to go ahead and grab the good stuff. I don't really know what the good stuff is. I think the cotton nail is the good stuff. All right, I don't think I need anything else. All right, girl, so your girl just got back from Walmart. I'm about to go ahead and open up my package because I got some press-on nails in here that I'm super excited about. If you guys like them, they will be linked in the description down below. This is no promo. This is nothing of the sort. Oh, they were not supposed to look like this, actually. They're cute, but they were not supposed to look like this, like, at all. Oh, what is going on? I'm about to show you guys what these nails were supposed to look like. Look what they sent me. These were not supposed to look like this at all. I'm about to show you guys what they were supposed to look like. Y'all about to be like, girl, what? She just took them off her website. I don't think she'd be able to do them anymore, but this lady got hers in the mail. This is what the picture looked like. I'm about to go ahead and show you guys. Oh, crap. I'm about to go ahead and show y'all. So this is what they were supposed to look like. They have like a clear, they're like clear mostly, and they just have like the, the pink outlining. Like that's what they were supposed to look like. Girl, look at this junk. It's all pink. I know I'm gonna be able to pull them off, but I don't like the way they look. I don't ever go for nails like this because I just do not like how they look. Like, it's just not my kind of nail. So, definitely don't like these. But she took them off of her website, so I guess I can't link them. But they definitely didn't really come like they were supposed to. I hate, like, ever 
like bashing somebody's brand i don't like that stuff like but like i honestly have to be honest like you know what i mean but i'm about to go ahead and try out this iced coffee okay so i got my little glass cup we're gonna go ahead and try this out should i put ice in it i probably shouldn't but i haven't had iced coffee in so long you guys i used to make coffee every single morning that was like my thing because on tiktok like iced coffee was like super popular so I know that I still, I was gonna say, I know that I still have my caramel sauce. Every single morning it was my thing before school. Like it was motivated me to get my score. Cause it was just like a nice little treat, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put some ice in there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put like a little bit of caramel sauce in there. I don't want too much cause I don't want it to be too sweet. Now I'm about to go ahead and pour this little coffee. I know coffee is not really like that popular anymore, but girl, I'm still gonna try it out. I don't want too much because I don't need too much caffeine. I've already had a good amount of caffeine today. Like I already had my little energy drink and I don't want to do too much caffeine because the girl still hasn't ate yet. I'm like that type of girl that I literally will forget to eat. Mm. I like that. It tastes like real coffee for real. I was supposed to shake it and I didn't but that definitely tastes really good. Okay right now I'm just gonna go ahead and load some clean clothes in the dryer. Then I gotta go ahead and put my comforter in here really quickly and disinfect it and clean it because I haven't cleaned it in like a week or two honestly just being lazy just straight up lazy and I be putting my comforter on my face and everything so I gotta make sure that I wash it but I had put a bunch of clothes in the washer yesterday and I honestly have been drying some of my clothes I usually hang dry everything but I just do not have the time to be hang drying everything it makes me not want to do my laundry so in order to get all my laundry done I have to start you know drawing certain pieces so I took out the pieces that I know that I can dry and I put them in the washer yesterday I cannot stand nasty bedding it makes me feel like a gross like nasty person so i gotta make sure that i'm cleaning my bedding all the time i do a deep water wash um on the hottest water that i can possibly put it on good amount of detergent i put pine salt in there a little bit of fabric softener i found this spring daydream gain stuff gain detergent the other day and it smells so good it kind of has like a downy smell to it but i'm just gonna go ahead Put a cup of that and then another cup with my comforter since comforters are so big and thick i like to make sure that i put a good amount of product all right i got my pine saw i'm gonna go ahead and put a few splashes of pine saw in there this always gets my whole crib smelling like pine saw okay you guys do not mind the background we are working on this room this room definitely has to get done it's just like a bunch of random things in here <laughs> but we're basically all using it anyway so basically i really got to go ahead and unpack, unpack this day miami bag i hated miami so bad that i didn't even want to unpack this bag like it's pretty bad and i have to get it done i honestly feel like i'm gonna throw away the whole luggage because of just the vibe that miami brought to my life i hated it so i'm gonna go ahead and go through this bag and figure out what the heck i want to do with it it got so dirty on the airport like in the airport and everything like i just literally can't now i did buy a suitcase in miami at the time and i had just put all my brand new stuff because i bought so much stuff in miami that was like the only good thing there was buying stuff so i had bought all this different stuff from miami and so i bought a new suitcase i'm definitely keeping that suitcase and i just put all my brand new stuff in it so it wasn't like any like bad vibes to it this one this is stuff that i brought to miami so i just have like some i had to wash all this stuff um even if it was washed and i hadn't worn it i just miami just looked like a dirty feeling like the part of miami that i was in i was in south beach and when i tell you guys it was so hood and bad like it was terrible and i don't care what nobody says i stick to what i said about how i felt about south beach mm -mm. it was disgusting and as soon as we left there was like even while we were there there was so much murdering and just like it was just bad it was just bad like even this lady our the lady that was driving us to south beach she seemed like she really wanted to tell us you guys are not meant to be down there she was just basically telling us like they just sleep all day party all night it's just a bunch of wild stuff going on down there and we were like what the heck girl if i'd have known that i'd have made sure i was in a real luxurious part of miami for real but anyway i have to go ahead and wash all this stuff oh these are really cute i have bought these from miami as well i always buy boy swim trunks for my swim outfits because they're really classy that way so you just wear like a little top whatever top you want to wear then you wear your little shorts super classy and super cute what did i pack this for oh i think i wore this to miami i could still smell my perfume on it yeah i wore this to miami i have a jacket that i wore i wanted to wear back from miami but i ended up buying a miami jacket oh my gosh this was the cutest dress ever oh my gosh the cutest blue dress in the world oh my gosh it was so cute i did not know i had two pair of these sweatpants i bought two pair of these sweatpants i literally was wearing these sweatpants the other day <laughs> and i was like they're so cute like i gotta like find more pairs they're from h&m they fit so well oh my gosh pillowcases girl y'all know your girl struggles with acne so i had to bring my own clean pillowcases to sleep on i literally had bought my own room and the problem was was my mom and my little brother were in one room i got them their own room and then my older brother had his own room he had took care of his own room and then i had my own room problem was my big brother and my brother and my mom were all together they were two rooms there was they were literally neighbors but i was at the end of the hall and i'm like the girl of the family like i'm the one that everybody's super protective of so like my brothers kept coming down to my door or they were just like you don't really need to be in here by yourself and so I slept in that room for the first night and I knew I did not want to be ever come back to Miami. I knew I did not want to be there. And then the other two nights I slept with my mom. 
because I could not, like I needed some type of purity. Like there's no purity on South Beach. Like it was terrible. Right here is my little swimsuit that I wanted to wear. I just didn't really end up wearing it. It was super cute with my white shorts. Um, here are some pajama pants, a bunch of masks. This is a shirt that I wore on the first day. Oh my gosh, I gotta wash all this stuff because this stuff is cute as crap. I cannot wait to wear this again. This was so cute with my bell bottoms. A little t-shirt, some underwear. I had bought like a, I had brought like a bunch of underwear. Oh my gosh, y'all. These are the cutest bras in the whole entire world. If you are looking for like a super cute bra, I'm gonna link this in the description down below they target had like these lace bras they fit so perfect i get a size small but like oh my gosh they look good they just feel amazing i love these bras i'm gonna go ahead and link them in the description down below i get them off the target website i didn't know i had another brand new one. Oh, i have this coral organics mask that i got from sephora it was pretty pricey my gopro that i never used because i got on the beach people was topless they was drunk it was just not it. Oh yeah, I had washed my hair when I first got there, so I have like my Kristen S shampoo and conditioner in this Target bag. A bunch more underwear, underwear, tank top, underwear. Oh my gown. I love my granny gown, so baby, I pack my granny gown, honey. Here are all my little probiotics, my azo pills. Speaking of probiotics, I haven't even taken my probiotics today, but I have them in here. I have my azo pill, my cranberry azo pill, and my chlorophyll. So I gotta go ahead and take that. Real Sunset Glow Oil. I use this oil just as like a shimmery, you know. I had brought this charm bracelet that says love oh my bomb dia bright cream so i don't know if you guys are a big fan of like soul janeiro i personally did not like this cream i didn't really feel it like that because the thing was you know how like lotions do not want to dissolve this lotion did not want to dissolve into my skin like it just wanted to stay white and ghostly so i definitely had to go ahead and mix in this oil with it um just to make it better because you know if you mix oil with a lotion that's doing that it always works better Y'all know I have my flushable wipes. Oh, my mask. My mask brush. It wasn't time for me to get my period, but I was definitely coming up on it. And so I literally got it like a few days after I left. So I didn't really need any of those. I have my hair perfume. Oh, this was when I, when I went to go wash my face. I always used this and pulled my hair back. Underwear, underwear, a bunch of tampons, Dove soap. This is just a mess. I have Dove soap because that's really all I used on the trip was bar soap. My baby washcloth that I was cleaning my downstairs area with. My charm bracelets, tampons, scrunchies, lens wipes. My favorite curly hair cream. I use this in my Olaplex Bond Smoother today for my hair. What is it here? Oh, Talia Waji Curly Curl Cream. I don't think there's anything left in there. Is there anything in, oh yeah, I see exfoliating gloves. Yes, ma'am, I had to stay clean and scrubbed up in that dang weather. I gotta go ahead and wash this stuff. I need to go ahead and put this stuff away and call it a day. I got all my stuff that I bought from Walmart. My nephew just ended up like getting like a little toy. Um, I didn't grab anything extra except for that iced coffee and then my brother just bought like some snacks and stuff. I just hated South Beach. South Beach was just not for me. Like as a Christian, like that's just not my lifestyle. You know, if that's your lifestyle, I'm definitely not judging nobody for it. And I'm very sensitive to like evil spirits and stuff like that. And there was a lot of that going on in Miami and I just wanted nothing to do with it. So I stayed in my, in my little lane. Me and my family stayed in our lane and they stayed in theirs. My older brother was going there to be like a partier. Like we kind of crashed his party. Like he was going to Miami to have a good time you know, his little good time, but we were there and my brother, I would talk to him and be like, I don't think you really want to do that. Like, I would be like, bro, like, I don't think you really want to be out here partying with these people like that for real. Like, I know my brother, my brother can get along with, with anybody, but I also know my brother and I know that like, our family, like, we tend to have hecka haters. People don't tend to understand us. And my brother can get along with anybody. I was just telling him as a sister, like, from a Christian point of view, like, I just don't think it's it. And he listened. And he was like, I didn't even go. Like, I seen him the next morning, and he was like, I didn't even go out, like, for real. Like, both nights that he was supposed to go out, he was like, I didn't even really do it. Like, like I really, like, he said, what you were saying to me just kept replaying in my head. And I was just like, I don't really want to do this. I don't always want to listen to my family, but the fact of the matter is, they have my best interest. And, like... Am I the only person that like, if I know that I still want to be cool with somebody, this isn't like present, but like if I know that I still want to be cool with somebody, I'm not telling my mom that I just got in an argument with them or I'm not telling my mom that I'm not cool with that person no more because once my mom finds out about you and I try to be friends with you again, my mom's going to be like, absolutely not, you know, nope. Nope. So might as well have my mom thinking that that person is still cool type stuff. I don't know where that just came from, but I'm not the only one. Like if I get in a fight with a friend, I don't really have any friends, but I'm not telling my mom because my mom's going to be like, um... And why are you guys friends again? You know, y'all know how mamas go. Once my mama find out, it's the O. Don't get me wrong, my mama's not gonna treat no kid no type of way, but y'all get exactly what I'm saying. Like, you gotta understand what the heck I'm saying. I'ma leave all the little accessories in here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pack up all the clothes and get these in my dirty clothes so I can go ahead and get all of this stuff washed. Okay, so before your girl goes ahead and heads up out of here, I am doing my little chemical peel. Not really chemical peel, but it's like an exfoliant peel. It's like this Paula's Choice AHA and BHA. I will go ahead and link it down below. I actually get mine off of Amazon, but I'm not really sure if you guys are familiar with the Ordinary. If you're a skincare, like, junkie, like, 
like you already know but like remember that stuff that kind of looked like blood that people were putting on their face and yeah you had to be really careful with it because it's an actual peel yeah this is like the same exact thing except for it's way cuter it's like a unicorn effect i don't know it's really cute not a fake but it's like a unicorn mask i'm breaking out a little bit so i'm just like let me you know keep up on my routine anyway a lot of you guys have been asking how my Brazilian wax went. I can't even believe that I'm actually saying that I actually got one because I always told myself like I know that I have to get it done one day But I just do not really want to do it because shaving is just a lot. It's a lot of maintenance It's a lot of shaving because I mean it just hair goes back so fast that it's just like you have to like shave every like three days Like every two days. It's crazy and then it gets to the point where you're like every day but then it's just like, that's just too much. I wouldn't necessarily say a lot of research, but you definitely have to do your research to kind of see like the benefits of it um, and why waxing is better than shaving any day. Basically, I think the hardest part for me, I don't think it was mainly the pain. I think the hardest part for me was exposing myself to somebody, like actually somebody seeing my downstairs area because nobody ever has. So I think that was the weirdest thing for me, but she was really just cool. So I, it was just, you know, it was just decent and then she took out the first strip and I was like that does not hurt like what she was like yeah like you're doing really good like you're doing really good like you're not gonna have a bad time during this wax and then she put the second strip down and it was kind of like inside a little bit and I was like this one's gonna hurt right she's like yeah this is gonna be the most pain the most painful strip you're gonna have so she pulled it and I was like yeah I said that was very painful but definitely not as bad as I thought it was she was like but I'm gonna tell you straight up after your first wax she was like I don't care how traumatic it was like she said she always tells people to come back a second time because it's not gonna be as bad like at all um but I think the downstairs area was you know it was very painful but I got through it it was really quick the behind girl does not hurt at all like at all well I go forward with doing this girl my appointment is already booked after I got out of my session I already knew that that was what I would want to do um, I just gotta like make sure that I talk to her about getting like all of the hair because like when I shave I make sure I get everything she didn't really get everything so I had to like pluck certain things like it was just a lot but overall absolutely I think it's way better it lasts way longer it's smoother it's just better you know you don't see no little hairs that are still there because it pulls it straight out of the follicle like it's totally gone so yeah I do suggest that I do want to get laser hair removal definitely but right now I'm trying out this little waxing thing so I've heard a lot of good things about waxing so I'm gonna go ahead and check it out I mean I'm gonna go ahead and continue to do it but anyway I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I know it was a lot of talking I honestly kind of feel bad because I feel like it was less activity and it wasn't too it wasn't much activity it was just a lot of talking and I feel bad about that but at the same time there are a lot of times where I just zone off and just listen to what people have to say because it just kind of gets me out of my world so hopefully I'm doing that for you guys I'm not really sure anyway with that being said I'm so tired I love every single one of you guys God bless you all in the mighty power of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I got to get some other stuff done that I'm not gonna film but 